Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to yet another video. In today's video, we will be looking at Barcelona's 2015 Champions League winning team and where they are now. Barcelona last won the Champions League in the 2014-15 season when they defeated Juventus 3-1. Goalkeeper, Ter Stegen. Ter Stegen had just moved from Gladbach to Barcelona for 9.7 million when Barcelona last won the Champions League. Amazingly, he did not play a single minute of league football that season, being mainly used as a League Cup keeper and a Champions League keeper. In his second season at the club, he was still second choice behind Claudio Bravo and expressed his unhappiness at this situation. He stated, In the long run, these 25 games per season are not enough for me. The decision is made by the coach, but I hope that the quality I've shown recently is rewarded. And in the next season, he was certainly rewarded because Claudio Bravo left for Man City, which left Ter Stegen as the first choice keeper. And he certainly took this opportunity with both hands, signing a new contract in the 17-18 season, which gave him a release clause of 180 million euros. On the 28th of September 2019, he assisted Luis Suarez in a La Liga match. This made him the first Barcelona keeper to assist in a league match in the 21st century. In the 1920 season, he was part of the Barcelona team that lost 8-2 to Bayern Munich in the Champions League quarterfinals. Nonetheless, he is still very much Barcelona's first choice goalkeeper. Right back, Dani Alves. It was Dani Alves's third Champions League title with Barcelona when they won it against Juventus in 2015. The 2015-16 season would be his final at Barcelona as he would join Juventus the following summer. Unfortunately, a few months into the season, on the 27th of November, he broke his leg and was out for several months. He eventually returned and played against Real Madrid in the 2015-16 Champions League final. Unfortunately, he was not successful this time as Juventus were defeated 4-1. The following season he joined PSG where he won two league titles. Following his stint in Paris, he returned to Brazil to play for Sao Paulo where he was used as a central midfielder most of the time. Last season he surprisingly returned to Barcelona after their financial struggles. However, following the end of the season, Barcelona chose not to renew his contract and as a result he joined Liga MX side Pumas for whom he has already made six appearances. Centre back, PK. PK is one of the few players that was part of the Pep Guardiola treble winning team and the Luis Enrique treble winning team. And since the 2015 Champions League win, PK has always remained a regular at Barcelona. However, in the last few seasons, his playing time has been reduced due to injuries. He only managed 18 league appearances in the 2021 season and only managed 27 last season. More recently, he has been in the headlines for his split with longtime partner Shakira. Centre-back, Mascherano. The 5'9 Argentinian centre-back, Javier Mascherano, scored his first and only goal for Barcelona on the 26th of April 2017. On the 23rd of January 2018, Barcelona announced that Mascherano would be leaving the club after seven and a half seasons. He then joined Chinese side Hibai China Fortune for a fee of 5.5 million euros. In his two years at the club, he was a first-team regular, making 53 appearances in all competitions. In November 2019, he returned to his native Argentina to play for Estudiantes and after just making 10 appearances across two seasons, he retired. Currently, he is Argentina's under-20 coach, a position that he has held since December 2021. Left-back, Jordi Alba. Ever since Jordi Alba signed for Barcelona in the summer of 2012, he has made the left-back position his own. In his 10 seasons at the club, only once has he managed to make less than 35 appearances in all competitions. In the 2021 season, he had arguably the best season of his career, getting 5 goals and 13 assists in all competitions. Altogether, he has won 15 trophies at the club since his arrival in 2012. Now at the age of 33, he has just begun his 11th season at Barcelona and is still one of the best fullbacks in the world. Central midfield, Rakitic Just like Ter Stegen, the 2014-15 season was Rakitic's first at Barcelona. And he was brilliant in his first season at the club, scoring the opening goal in this Champions League final and also making the La Liga and Champions League team of the season. On the 2nd of March 2019, he was given very special praise by Jose Mourinho, who stated that Rakitic was one of the most underrated players in the world. But after the arrival of Frankie de Jong in the summer of 2019, Rakitic found his playing time severely reduced. Unhappy about this, he stated, I want to play and not just enjoy walking around Barcelona and the sea. Almost a year on from that statement, he returned to Sevilla on the 1st of September 2020. He had left Barcelona with four league titles and one Champions League. Since his return to Sevilla, he has been a vital member of the team, making 50 appearances in his first season and 46 appearances in the next. Centre defensive midfield, Busquets. When talking about one of the most underrated players in the world, there's few bigger names that spring to mind than Busquets. Since his breakout season in the 2008 and 2009 season, he has been a vital member of Barcelona's history and has eight league titles and three Champions Leagues to his name. Amazingly, he has not made fewer than 40 appearances in all competitions since his debut in 2008. 
And whilst Barcelona have signed several midfielders over the years, including Pjanic, Arthur and De Jong, none have adequately been able to replace Busquets, who continues to be one of the first names on the team sheet. Last season, following the departure of Lionel Messi, he was announced as the club captain of Barcelona. Central midfield, Iniesta. One of the greatest Barcelona midfielders of all time, Iniesta was awarded the 2015 Champions League final man of the match. On the 6th of October 2017, he was rewarded for his long-time services at Barcelona by being offered a lifetime contract. But less than a year after signing that contract, he left Barcelona for Japanese side Vissel Kobe. This brought his 16-year spell at Barcelona to an end. During his time at the club, he made 674 appearances for them, winning 9 La Liga titles and 4 Champions Leagues. So far, he has completed five seasons in the J1 league, being a first-team regular for his side. Right wing, Lionel Messi. Arguably the greatest player of all time, Lionel Messi requires no introduction. And in the 2014-15 season, he was at his devastating best. That season, he remarkably achieved 58 goals in all competitions, as well as 31 assists. This put him at a direct goal contribution of 89 in just 58 games. Then on the 11th of January 2016, he won his fifth Ballon d'Or. In the 18-19 season, he became the club's captain and won the La Liga in his first season as skipper. Shortly afterwards, he won his record-breaking sixth Ballon d'Or. In August 2021 was the first time Messi showed his desire to leave Barcelona. And surely enough, the 2021 season would be his final at Barcelona as he would leave the club after a long transfer saga to sign for PSG. And it was obvious to see that Messi struggled in his new environment in his first season. He ended the league campaign with just six goals, something that has been unheard of Messi in the last 15 years or so. This was the first time he failed to reach double figures in league goals since the 2005 and 2006 season. However, in the new seasons, Messi is showing once again signs of going back to his absolute best. In just the first three league games of the season, he has five goal contributions. Striker, Luis Suarez. Just like Ter Stegen and Rakitic, Luis Suarez was on his first season at the club when Barcelona won the Champions League. He managed 16 goals and 16 assists in just 27 league games. The following season would end up being the best of his career. He managed an amazing 59 goals and 24 assists in all competitions as Barcelona won the second consecutive league title. By his 100th Barcelona appearance, he had managed 88 goals and 43 assists, which was more than what Messi and Ronaldo got in their first 100 games in Spain. The 1920 season would end up being his final at Barcelona as they went trophyless. He left the club as their third all-time top scorer with 198 goals in just six seasons at the club. Following his failed move to Juventus, where it was alleged that he cheated in his Italian citizenship test, he joined league rivals Atletico Madrid. And he only signed for just 9 million euros which would turn out to be a bargain as he won the league title in his first season at the club, scoring 21 league goals. After having a not so successful second season at the club, he returned to Uruguay this summer for boyhood club Nacional. So far he has made 3 league appearances, scoring 1 goal. Left wing, Neymar. Just like Luis Suarez, Neymar also had the best season of his career in the 2014-15 season. He ended the season on 39 goals and 10 assists in all competitions. The first season of MSN ended with 122 goals, which was the most in a season for an attacking trio in Spanish football history. In 2015, Neymar also achieved his highest position in the Ballon d'Or rankings as he finished third behind Messi and Ronaldo. The next season, MSN done one better, scoring 131 goals, breaking their record from the previous season. One of the best performances of Neymar's career came in the 2016-17 last 16 Champions League, where he got two goals and one assist as well as a Man of the Match award in the famous comeback against PSG. He then signed for PSG in the summer of 2017 for a world record 222 million euros. One of the main reasons that Neymar was brought to the club was to help them win their first ever Champions League title. But the best they've managed so far is runners-up when they lost to Bayern Munich in the 1920 Champions League final. However, this season could be Neymar's best yet, as in the first three league games of the season, he has managed 11 goal contributions. And that was it for today's video guys. As always, please remember to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.